So I said I did. So then I said I did. So we got to the circus, and I entered the giant tent, and we took our seat. I saw the clown. I don't like clowns. So I sat there, terrified of the horrifying, uh, horrifying um, clowns on stage. <clears throat> I sat there, bored out of my mind, knowing that I could have been at Disneyland right now. And my dad kept looking at me, and I kept looking at him. And he gave me this grimace kind of smile. Not the smile that you would have, like, when you see a child laughing or, or get, like, playfully spanked. The kind of smile that you have when you smell something disgusting but want to cover it up because you're at someone else's house. <sighs> so, I, I woke up. Oh, shoot. No. Okay. I woke up knowing that, or seeing that no one was there. I had fallen asleep through the third act. And my dad had left me at the circus. And yeah, I still was kind of happy because I didn't really like my dad at the time. He didn't take me to Disney. So I sat there all alone. None of the clowns were out, which was good because I don't like clowns. And so then this guy came up to me and he says, hey, what are you doing here? And I'm like, oh, I, I, I'm lost. My dad left me here at the circuit. So I told the guy, um, I really don't want any trouble. I'm just here. And I, you know, my dad just left me here. I don't want to do. So he told me, well, the only way you can stay is to join the circus. I said, no, I don't want to join the circus. That's what everyone says when they want to run away, but no one really wants to because that's why I want to go to the circus. But anyway, I joined because there's nothing else I can do. So as I sat there, the guy looked at me and said, okay, you're going to go in the back with the elephant. And that was the day that changed my life. I was laying in the hay with the uh, elephant, just waiting, waiting for my next chance to break out on the stage so I could run away from this horrible place. It felt horrible. Like, not just that kind of horrible where it's like, oh, like a horrible thing, oh, you're running away from it. It's horrible, but it's kind of horrible that's like, God, what's that smell? It's a horrible kind of horrible. So I sat there and an elephant came up to me. He said, what are you doing here, new fish? And I'm like, what, Mr. Elephant? What am I supposed to do? I'm just sitting here. My dad left me up. Now they make you join the circus, you're all time to leave. So he said, well, we have initiations here. And I was like, but what's your initiation? And he said, turn around. So I turned around, wondering what's going on. I was looking for what he was talking about, and I don't know. I was like, what am I supposed to look at? And he's like, you're not supposed to look at anything. Close your eyes. So I closed my eyes, and then I felt it. The sharp pain of a trunk going up my body. And raping me. <laughs> that was the day I was raped by elephants. Yeah.